This ASIC is my most profitable crypto miner in my mining farm, making over $65 a day, and it's not a Bitcoin miner. The Ice River KS3M. Man, oh man, I'm not gonna lie. I thought the box would be bigger. <laughs> so there it is, we got Fragile, heck yeah. And there we see it, serial number with a 3M there on the side. I am absolutely hyped. It looks like it actually says origin. Look at this, Malaysia, interesting enough. Um, so super, super thrilled to get my hands on the Ice River KS3M. Huge shout out to the team over at Coin Mining Central for sending this over to me for review. I am honored, honestly, and very, whew, Man, it is crazy to think. I mean, this unit right now makes anywhere between 60 to $70 a day based off of Caspa bouncing around. This will be my most profitable ASIC miner in my fleet. So let's go ahead and get this opened up here. I need a cooler knife. Red Panda Mine has got that really, really cool one, like the RGB color looking thing. That thing looks awesome. I need to find me one of those. Anyone know where to get that from? I'd love to buy one for whoever's just selling those. All right, moment of truth. All right, so here we have it. The Ice River KS3M. It's just nuts to think about, like going back. Remember when like Red Panda Mining got his hands on the first Ice River? It like blew everyone's minds. It's so crazy to think how far we've come. So this unit here is from Coin Mining Central. Huge shout out to them. Really do appreciate them sending this over. I have this for about a month, then I'll be sending it on. So one of my goals is, is to actually track how much we will make right now in the beginning of March with the Ice River KS3. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up with a separate wallet and we're gonna mine directly to it. And I'm really eager to see you know, how it does. Um, I'm super excited. I did just notice, look at this. It actually uses a C19, totally threw me off. I didn't even realize that. For some reason, you know, I have a KS2 and the KS2 just uses one C13. I didn't even realize this uses a C19, interesting. Now, I guess it makes sense. This unit does six terahash at a total of 3,400 watts. So a lot more, the KS2 is only like 1200 watts, it's absolutely crazy. So with the Ice River KS3M, you have your IP report, some indicator lights, SD card slot reset, which I find I use the reset button a lot with these Ice Rivers, and the ethernet port. It's got the high RPM fans right here on the front. And as I've started to love, I wish every ASIC had one of these toggle switches, the toggle switch there, a lot smaller power supply fans there uh, on this one. Now. My KS2 doesn't have any fans on the back. This one does have these high RPM fans on the back side of it. Uh, it looks slick, looks really, really good. So what do we have to do next? Well, of course, we're gonna go ahead and get this plugged in. So give me a second, let's get her plugged in, powered up and see how many watts this actually does at the wall and what the true hash rate really is. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at the Ice River KS3M. Before we do, let's take a look at a few things. First off, where this unit's from, what's the hash rate, what's the watts, and finally, the biggest factor as a crypto miner, and I get it, is profitability. The nice thing is about these units is your watts at home isn't really a massive factor because this doesn't use a lot in the end that cuts into your profitability. We'll take a closer look in just a minute. So we're from Coin Mining Central, and if you guys are looking for an ASIC miner, I highly recommend you come over here and take a look because the price on any unit on Coin Mining Central is really to your door. It includes taxes, includes shipping, which that number is a true number and nothing's gonna snag you. There's a lot of vendors out there which don't list import tax, and that comes back to butt you in the butt. So go over and check out Coin Mining Central. I have a link directly down below to get you a discount and a pretty hefty discount at checkout. Take a look. So over here, let's go ahead and take a look at products and we're gonna go down to Caspa. 
And once this loads up here, we have the KS5. If you guys are looking for it, it's here. The KS5 Pro as well as the KS5. 21 terahash versus 20 terahash. Now, it is a massive investment if you're going to go ahead and purchase yourself one of these KS5s. And I get it. It's a little out of reach for a lot of you guys. But take a look. They have the KS3M, which is the unit we have today. And it's down to now $7,386.09. Who knows what the price is going to be at but when the time of this video releasing. We are recording it at the beginning of the week on the 3rd, and the video will drop in about five days or so. So keep an eye out. This price can really fluctuate. Caspa right now is just under 17 cents. Isn't that crazy to think about? Caspa, 17 cents. Like, what in the world? Like, remember talking about Caspa? Like, sub two cents? Nuts. Absolutely nuts. So, right here. You can see for March, which is the batch that you're at right now, it's at $7,300. You can take a look here at all different options. You know, there's one here for in stock. If you don't want to wait, you want it this second, $9,400. Um, you know, so there's all different options you can go with. So always keep track of that. The power supply it comes with, you can see here is a 170-300V. Of course they're new. They're not used at this point. Now scrolling down, you can see it's on the K heavy hash. So you're not limited to just Caspa. There's a lot of other K heavy hash algorithms that have been popping up here and there. People have been getting in on them early and especially taking ASICs like this and swapping them to them early on. What was that one? Was it Cedra that we saw not too long ago? Um, and then there's a lot of other ones like Pyron that was out, some other ones out there. Carlson, you could take this unit, put it on them because it is K heavy hash and just mine an absolute ton of it for like, a day get your bag and move on go back to caspa so this is always a great option for k heavy hash as this algorithm has become very very popular so six terahash, hash 3400 watt this one really surprised me coming from ice river seeing as the ks2 was less than half of that i was doing the quick math in my mind 3400 you know so it's nuts to think about that right there so as we talked about, it does have the C19 cable on there. So it is a little bit different. You'll most likely be plugging directly into a PDU, which is what I showed you guys previously. So let's look at ASIC miners. Let's talk profitability here, especially on the KS3M. So coming over here, we're going to select our coin and this is mine the ASIC. This is like the staple. Everybody uses this as some really good information, very up to date. We're gonna select Caspa. So this is gonna go ahead and show us the top 12 caspa miners out there ranging from 212 dollars a day down to one dollar a day isn't that insane so ks5 is up there at the top the beast i don't even know if anybody's gotten any of these yet i bet you red panda has one on the way keep an eye out that's it's absolutely insane love to get my hands on one to test one um followed by the short-lived ivy link bmks max that came out and we all got excited for now granted it's still over $100 a day, and the price is significantly less, so something to consider. The Wind Miner, eh, I don't know that a lot of people are looking at that. We have the KS3, which is the 9.4 terahash from Bitmain. The KS3 from Bitmain as well, 8.3. We then have the Ice River KS3, which is 8 terahash, and we're down to the one that I'm using now, which is the KS3M, which is 6 terahash. Now, for me, I'm excited. This is a $7,000 miner that is doing, when I look at the price here, $60.68 a day. This is by far the most profitable ASIC miner in my fleet. Nothing is even close to this. I mean, my KS2 is $20.15. That's absolutely nuts. And it goes for $4,400. Now I got mine for $3,300 months ago. Was it October? October, November? I think it's October. And the fact that the KS2 is $20 and it's such a massive leap up to the KS3 at $60.68. Insane. It really is absolutely insane to see where things are. The fact that we're still making over $20 a day with the KS2, I'm not complaining. I love it. I absolutely love it. It's going to be really hard for me to send back the KS3M to Coin Mining Central at the fact that it does $60 a day. Can you imagine if Caspa hits that 20 cent mark? DJ and I were just talking about this the other day. I said, buy the Bitcoin halving. I, I believe Caspa is going to be at 25 cents. Quote me now. 
<laughs> hopefully it is. Um, hopefully it's a told, told you so moment, right? Absolutely. All right, so while that unit is powering up, because it's going to get real loud here in just a minute, I do apologize ahead of time. We will go ahead and look at the DB readings to see how loud this thing is, but we do need to get a configuration in place first. So we are over on mining pool stats and we need to find a home. We need to find a pool for this. Remember, we want to do a different pool and a different wallet. I like to track this over one month. At the end of a month, we'll go ahead and take a look at how much it actually made. So we're over on mining pool stats. We'll click on Caspa. And this is going to show us, I mean, there's so many miners right now, almost 40,000 miners on Caspa. That's absolutely insane. And that's just what's trackable here. That's 39,764 miners as of today, March 3rd. So taking a look down this list here, we could naturally go with some of the big boys out there. I mean, you can look, you got F2 pool, you got Hum pool, you got Caspa dash pool, two miners out there. But what really catches my eye today is via BTC. I've been using them more and more. This video is not sponsored by them in any way, but I'm going to go ahead and put this on via BTC. So I have via BTC up and running. Very simple, very easy interface. You just come in, log in. You have all of your different uh, algorithms here on the left hand side and your pool information directly at the bottom. Now I have set this. If we go in and take a look at our assets here and we look and let's see auto withdrawal settings and scroll down we have gone ahead and i've turned off the auto withdrawal so it's all just going to build on via btc and then we'll take a look at that total amount at the end of a 30-day period so let's go ahead here and refresh our interface it is loading here we go perfect now i went in and removed all of our pool settings so that we don't have anything set so let me get everything set up from via BTC and we'll see how this does. All right, we've been up and running for about 11 to 12 minutes now. Let's go ahead and see, you know, how this is doing. So right now we're at 6,347 for the giga hash. So let's go ahead and type that in here. Uh, we'll do 6.3 listed and for our power. Now this says 3,400 watts. Let's go ahead and take a quick look to see what it actually is doing at the wall. All right, so taking a look at the watts at the wall, I'm actually really surprised. We're at 3,329. So let's go ahead and put that in. And it's actually kind of amazing because with Bitmain, usually you're 100 or 200 watts more. It's actually kind of nice to come in below the advertised amount of 3,400 watts. And I'm going to go ahead. My electric rate is 5 cents based off of where we're running this at my ASIC shed. However, I want to be a little bit more realistic. So we're going to put this to like 15 cents because that's what I'm hearing more and more is the norm for a lot more people, especially at home. And we're gonna hit calculate. So we're at $64.55 per day in revenue. The electric cost is $11.98 per day, putting us at a profitability of $52.56 per day. That's absolutely nuts. Take a look at this. Per month, $1,576. Can you imagine as time goes on and we see Caspa moving more and more closer to 20 cents, 25 cents, the profitability on this thing is only going to go up, which is amazing to me. So let's go and see how loud this thing actually is with our DB meter, because you guys can probably hear it in the background. All right, let's break out our tops DB meter here. Let's bring it a little closer and take a look. Eighty three. Let's go back here. Eighty to eighty three. Let's take a few steps back. Seventy to seventy two. And yep, that's a Vitret two case. We bought another GPU mining rig. <laughs> so, yeah, this thing is actually pretty loud and pretty whiny. I'm actually really surprised. Now, it is pretty warm in this room. Take a look. You know, it's 88 in here right now, so it doesn't really have the best. There's no airflow in this room, so it is hot. I would imagine, like my KS2, when it's cooler air, that actually starts to spin down pretty significantly. Alrighty, guys, that is going to wrap things up for today. 
just when I thought that people weren't buying Caspa miners anymore, the bull run is in full swing. And I talked to someone today buying the KS5, which is absolutely crazy. Are you guys buying more? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of watching Twitter, talking with the community. People are buying up more and more Caspa miners. If you guys are in the market, take a look at this guy, the KS3M. I tried to kind of present today's video, giving you guys all the facts and details and hash rates and profits and electric and DB meters. Hopefully this was helpful for you guys to decide, is the Ice River KS3M for you? If so, go over, check it out over on Coin Mining Central. I'll put a link directly down below, not only to directly to this unit, but also there is a discount code that you guys can use at checkout to save you guys a pretty penny. Other than that, guys, it's gonna wrap things up for today. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.